Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to uh, Tuesday morning, uh, May the 25th, 2021. I'm glad you could make it to uh, join us today. I have five VGAC calls at $20 October. Do you feel this is too close? Uh, might be, but you know, on the other hand, if the shares go to 15, 18, you'll make money on your calls because they'll they'll reflect a higher value and you might be able to roll into January's then. You might want to do that. I have three IPOE $15 calls for June coming up. Let them roll or sell one. Pick up three 2250 calls for another month or two out. What should I be doing here? Um, you got fifteen dollar calls or in the money, uh, six plus dollars are probably taking about eight bucks a piece, eight fifty. I'm, I'm just guessing. Um, if you leave them alone and the stock goes up to twenty five, just just you know in the near term, you're ten in the money. You're sitting on what twelve dollar contracts now. Um, on the other hand, if you sell one now for for eight hundred something dollars, um, should you buy three twenty two fifty calls for further ahead to be further? in more time, but you're further out. You're now just out of the money, but you've got triple the leverage, right? If it goes to 25 a share, those are 250 in the money plus premium. They'll be worth about 450. Um, uh, you know, uh, you'll have three of them. That's $1,300 of the contracts uh, versus three $1,200 contracts. Sounds like you're at the same spot, uh, maybe. You might be worth just as much money on one versus the other, where right now you're in the money versus the others are out of the money and, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, I, you know what I'm saying. I know. Maybe you want to look at. Uh, uh, hmm, what do you want to do? I, you, you may want to just sit tight here and let the stock keep going and enjoy the three you got. There you got. Let these three leverage up. If this thing goes to thirty-five a share. You got a twenty-dollar book value times three. You got uh, twenty. You got sixty-six hundred stock uh, contracts. Uh, you didn't pay twenty sixty-six hundred for these contracts. You're making money. Um, Sometimes it's just best to sit around. Bruce, do you need to wait for, to find a buyer for these contracts? Or you just sell them off like you do a stock, just like the stock. You can you can offer them at a set price on the option Chicago market. It's just your platform. When you when you look at your contract in your on your um, through your brokerage firm's site, they'll show you the bid ask last trade. You see your position. And then you you pick the price you want to sell out at. You put in a limit order for the day, perhaps, and uh, you might be a little higher than where it's at trading at. The stock has a little pop up. You get taken out. Um, otherwise, you hit the bid if you feel that's what you have to do, or you offer it somewhere in the middle between bid and ask. Um, don't be just hitting bids randomly. Uh, you know, set a price, put the, put it in there. If the stock, if the contract is, uh, let's say five fifty to five seventy five, just using the number. You might offer it at 570. You're a nickel under the lowest. You're the lowest seller, but you're way up there. You're up at the end. Um, on the other hand, if, if you see the stock going up 40, 50 cents a share and, and you're not getting out at 570, you kill the order and redo it and put it out there now at 595 and go ahead of the lowest offer because the, the off, guy offering now 575 is offering too low. Back off and kill your order and just don't do anything. Let the market adjust and then pick your spot again. And, and uh, you might do that get the price you feel is fair for that contract and don't undersell it that's you make your money when you sell you make your money when you buy and uh, be a smart buyer be a smart seller who or how are option expiry dates determined just got into options trading this year and notice you can't set the expiration date when creating an options contract you decide which contract you are going to offer you'll look at the option chain and you'll figure out which option you want to either buy on, or which option you're going to write, which option you're going to sell to write, to buy back later or let expire worthless, hopefully. Um, so you can determine which one you get into, uh, which one you're going to be part of, but uh, they're out there. Uh, uh, as, as stocks mature, as, as options contracts mature around stocks, like, say, GameStop now, you can buy and sell GameStop contracts that expire this Friday all the way out to like a year plus from now. So uh, at every dollar level, like every kind of different dollar level. So take a look at different option uh, chains and you'll see what's going on. I sold four contracts for 
528-2021. Uh, that expires uh, in three days. The 220 calls yesterday. I'm getting nervous with GameStop today. Should I buy it back? Thank you, sir. Right now I'm up a buck. Well, <clears throat> I would not. I would not. Uh, the stock is at 189.09, and uh, you're still $30 out of the money. Uh, I would only consider buying it back on uh, uh, if the stock reaches the 210.15 neighborhood. Then I would consider it, and even then it would be a consideration. Um, everything is, is determinable. Right now, the this, this stock has to run up quite a bit more for you to be really down on it. Um, and then remember, uh, the higher the stock goes, the richer you're getting with your stock because you've sold your stock theoretically for 220 plus the premium, whatever you sold it for. So, you know, you're doing all right. Um, 28, uh, let's take a look at the 28s. Uh, here we go. Let's go backwards. And uh, the current price, um, they expire. Let me go back, go back. Um, I'm looking at an option chain, so pardon me. I'm just playing with the option chain. Here we go. Uh, May 28th option chain. 220s are uh, 305 to 330 right now. That's where they're at right now. So you wrote them at four something, maybe uh, maybe you wrote a little higher than that. Um, and so uh, tomorrow they'll they'll drop another dollar if the stock sits here. Um, on Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday they'll be around two bucks, buck fifty, two bucks. If we're under one ninety five, um, if you're under two hundred, with a day or two to go, they'll they'll barely be three bucks. Uh, so you can always consider buying them back uh, whenever you like. You could turn around right now. I mean, theoretically, you could right now if you wanted to buy the callback now at this one and issue a, a June 18, 220 and bring in more money. You could you could write one of those $16 call track contracts. So pay three to get 16 and you get bringing 1300 more money into your account. But you're locking up your stock for another couple of weeks. So think about that. OK. What happens if there are more people than you have slots for? Will you do them more than one class? See, uh, well, Jane, the thought I had was I would limit the class size to a manageable number that I could handle the questions from. Fair enough, right? Um, but these people would have the exclusive right to ask me one-on-one -on -one questions during the broadcast, and it's it's private. It's it's a it's a it's a show that is just a classroom for those people only. It's it's not telecast anywhere. After the show is over, after the tech class is done, my editor will then edit the episode and we will then, uh, between her and I, will figure out, well, they, they were like 30 questions. 10 of them were the same question over and over again or uh, they were kind of the same. Let's get the best five or six questions out of this group or 10 questions and we'll put that in with the, with the session. We'll make that now the, a nice, concise, maybe one minute, one hour, one hour, 60 minute uh, uh, video now people can go to my website and they can buy it. They can just they can click on it and pay a fee to watch that now. Without being in the class, they got to see the finished product of the session so that I get the message out that I wanted people to understand. Um, and we'll put a price on that. And uh, and uh, I will pay the cost of, 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 of broadcasting the episode. It'll probably be through a Zoom thing. I, I'll need to set up a reservation software they'll pay for that of course so we'll set all this stuff up and the website and the my editor and maybe a moderator and you know out goes this is going to be more expensive for me to do than if i have a one-on-one -on -one private session i mean what private sessions are you know locked in and they're already part of what i do anyway uh so i thought well you know if you limit it to a set number of people at a set price it'll be a premium price of some kind but it'll be it'll be more than if you watch the rerun, obviously, because you're part of the show. You're in the show, and you're 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 getting the info you want live uh, as part of the group. So great. Um, and then on the rerun, it'll it'll, it'll go out a set price, and any of you can watch it. So if you miss the live or you can't get into the live because I'm sold out, you just wait for the rerun, and you'll you'll watch the rerun, and uh, you'll pay for that, and you decide whether you ever want to watch another one again or not you'll find out monday tuesday wednesday thir the next week uh how did that class go uh the folks will be here telling you it was a dog it was garbage it was terrible it was great we loved it it was a good you know you'll hear it all and uh, you'll decide for yourself if you want to watch the rerun or not and if i bring one out every week or two uh you know after like four or five months there might be 20 of them that you can look into and we cover all kinds of topics right and this would mean I would have fewer one-on-ones. I'd have to give up one-on-ones to do this instead. Uh, and this will take me 
four hours of my time because I have to get ready before the class, set the logistics, do the class, whatever overtime we're going with, close that off, uh, and then do the edit and work the editing out. I mean, it, it's 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 hours and hours and hours of work, uh, but it's what I do, right? It's what what I have to do, um, and so I have to look at the 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 participants and and the the admission and the time and the factoring and the bit that and everything else and see where it comes up anyway so i was looking around on on sunday saturday sunday how much do others charge and um i came across uh, meet kevin <laughs> i went to see well what does meet kevin do because uh, he has 1.6 million subscribers he's 16 times my size i have 100,000 uh, subscribers he has 1.6 million what does Meet Kevin do? I was kind of curious. And so I noticed that Meet Kevin, he charges for a one-hour telephone call $10,000. <laughs> I'm going, well, he's 16 times bigger. You know, I mean, 16 times $400 uh, is not $10,000. He's charging way more money than I am for the size he is. But he's, he's charging $10,000 for a one-on-one -on -one phone call. And I'm going, I'm charging $400 for a one-on-one -on -one session like this now he will do a, a zoom call and you can just see him live and interact just like i do but he's at 10 grand like 9975 dollars something it's ten thousand um courses uh cheapest course he offers is seven or eight hundred dollars that's the cheapest recorded course uh but his courses are longer they 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 they, they run quite a bit of time uh, but he, he charges up to two thousand a course so from seven eight hundred to two thousand per course i'm wondering what should i charge per class what what should i do i i'm looking at those numbers and i'm just i'm stunned i'm just i'm just stunned at the amount of money he's asking but uh i have seen videos uh that he has made where he talks about how much money he makes as a youtuber and as a you know as an entrepreneur uh he's not shy about it. he's 29 years old um uh, never been a stockbroker but he's a real estate guy and he talks about it all he has a he has a stock market course for 800 bucks if you want to buy it from him um and uh he he does generate about a million a month he generates a million a month in advertising donations memberships online courses and consultations million a month he's 29. whoa i was just blown away i thought boy should i should i start charging five thousand a class or five thousand for a private session i mean i'm too cheap i don't know that was wild. That was just wild. I, I was, I was just like, I got, I got to do some. I said to myself, you know what you need to do, Bruce? You need to do some more research. <laughs>